So, as mentioned, not everyone is aware of what these type of updates are even about. And you need to manually check to see if you have one of these updates waiting for you by first opening up the settings application. And then you're going to scroll through that list until you find the about phone menu. Then we're going to scroll through this page until you find the Android version entry and then tap on that. You will have another entry for Google Play system update while also giving you the details of the latest Google Play system update that you have installed. You can see here that my daily driver is still on the January 2025 update. So if you are behind, then you're going to want to tap on this and then let the phone check for a new update. If you have a new update to be installed, you'll be then instructed to restart in order to install that update with a blue restart now button here in the bottom right corner. These updates are only applied after the phone has been updated. And most of you will find that you will need to install these updates manually each and every month or else you're going to get behind like I was. We can dive back into the settings application Again, go through the About Phone section and then find the Android version page so you can check to see which update that Google Play system update was installed to. If you think you are still behind, then again, you're going to want to tap on that entry and then let the phone check to see if you have an update waiting for you. Even though Google has announced the March 2025 update, most phones are going to be left waiting for this update right now, just like mine. So if you have the February 2025 update installed, then as of recording this video, you'll be completely caught up. Over the next few weeks, Google will be rolling out the March 2025 update. So you'll need to come back here and then manually check and manually install that update.